Welcome everybody, welcome to Creative Live and welcome to Kids Crafts with Maker Dad, Mark Frauenfelder and indeed his daughter Jane. Now Jane in just a few minutes is going to be showing us some incredible magic tricks. So stay tuned for that. But right now we're going to uh, welcome you all to Creative Live and give you the chance of course to jump into those chat rooms. Let us know that you can see us, let us know that you can hear us and indeed let us know where you're joining us from in the world. We always have a global audience on Creative Live. We have people in the UK yesterday, we have people in the Netherlands, we have people all over Asia. So welcome back to all of you and of course welcome back to everybody in the USA. Now Chris is working behind the scenes today as our off-air host. He's going to be helping you in the chat rooms with all of your comments, all of your questions. So please join the global conversation. We definitely want to hear from you today. Now if you want to ask questions of Mark, we also have a really great new feature on our website which I'll describe um, in just a few moments. But do check that out. Click that chat button, that, oh, sorry, the ask button. I'm sorry, the ask button that's just in the right-hand corner of the screen that you're watching right now. And you'll be able to ask questions of Mark as we go through the day. Now, and together with our online audience, we have a wonderful group of students here in the studio. Uh, Cal and Bob were with us yesterday. Welcome back to you. Thanks. Now, did you have fun yesterday? Yes. You did? <laughs> yeah, cool. Cal, what was the favorite thing that you made? Mm, the cards. The cards were good. Actually, that was really good. Now, have you, did you go home last night and try those out? Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Now, we also made the Soma Cube. Did you make any great shapes out of that when you left here yesterday? Um, yeah. Right. Cool. I tried. You tried. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there today. Well, welcome back to both of you. Really great to see you here today. Thanks. And we've got a new family with us today uh, who are joining us. Um, welcome to all of you. We've got, uh, we've got Granddad, we've got Dad, and we've got two sons. So welcome to all of you. We've got Bob and Dan and Kevin and Chance. Now, did you have a chance to see yesterday's show? No. Didn't. So you've got lots of exciting things to, to come today. Great. Now, are you, are you all makers? Do you do crafts together at home? We do some. We've gone to Maker's Fair and done things like that. Fantastic. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you today. Welcome to, to all of you and welcome to you online as well. Now, as I mentioned, uh, Mark is working with his daughter Jane today. Now, Jane's a bit of a superstar in her own right. Not only did she help Mark with, uh, write the book, uh, Make a Dad, but she's also something of a uh, magician. She does tricks with cards. So I thought it would be a great way to start off today's show with Jane showing us, showing us the tricks. So please welcome back to Creative Live, Jane Frauenfelder. <laughs> Come on up, Jane. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. Now, when you went home last night, you did play with the Soma Cube and you came up with some really great shapes, didn't you? Yes, I did. Now, have you managed yet to make the turtle? Because I know that's one of your dreams. No. No? <laughs> well, practice makes perfect, so keep, keep trying with that one. Cool. Now, I was just saying to our viewers, you're actually a magician as well as a really talented maker, and you're going to show us a card trick this morning. All right. Okay, let's go with that. Let's put it here so that our overhead cam can see it. Is there a name to this trick? I'm not sure. We'll make one up. So let's go. Okay. So are the cards shuffled? Uh, yes. Cool. Here. Shuffle them again. Yeah. Just always good to shuffle them again. Oh, and you're very good at that. Very good. OK. Good stuff. So cut the deck. In half? Yeah. Okay, and now we're going to... Is that it? Put this one here. Even I could do that. That is not it's it. It's not it, okay. Okay, just wait for it to happen. Okay, so let's go to where you marked it. Take off the top two cards. Show everybody, but make sure I don't see it. Okay, I will do that. Everybody see those? You know what they are? Okay. Okay, now put the cards anywhere you want. They don't need to be next to each other. Okay, put that one there, put that one there. Okay, now using the magical power of spaghetti, I like spaghetti. Are these your cards? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is brilliant, well done. That is really cool. Okay, will you be thrown out of the magic circle if you tell me how that's done? Yes. You would? Well, let's ask some of the guys in the studio if they know how that's done. What do you think? Any clues? No? Man. No idea. That too was quick. so quick. It it's is too quick. really quick card trick. Should, sorry, if we do it again slowly, maybe the guys can work it out? Maybe afterwards. Maybe afterwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to give it away. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. Absolutely. Any other tricks that you know? Um, a few, but I'll do them later. Okay. That sounds good. So what was your favorite thing from yesterday's show? The Soma Cube. The Soma Cube is really good, isn't it? Yeah. 
Now you painted yours for all sorts of different colours, mm -hmm. and you did the one with the black and white. Um, was that, is that to help you know um, how to put it together back as a cube, or do, uh, do, do you find it works just as easily with the, with the unpainted? Um, well, they're both kind of different because one doesn't make it easier than the other because you're not going to make a cube with the colored ones and then remember where all the colors are, unless you have like photographic memory. But um, it just makes it prettier. It does make it prettier. It was really cool. Now today we're going to be making something called a friend instrument, and we're going to be doing a lot of robotics and electronic toys. We're going to be doing bristle bots. And then we're going to go up onto the roof and we're going to be doing a, a balloon cam and we're going to be making giant balloons and also a sled cam. Mm -hmm. Now, these things you helped your dad with when uh, you were putting the book together? Uh, yes. Does he get a lot of his ideas from you? Um, I'm not sure. Some of them. <laughs> so what's your favourite? If you had to pick one from the whole book, what would be your favourite thing that your dad's made with you? The skateboard. The skateboard, that's right. We saw that in the promo video, didn't we? Yeah. Now, why is that your favourite? Because I always just... Uh, it was really fun to make and then paint it and then I feel like when I ride it it's like completely mine and nobody else has one exactly like it unless they like copied me from the book mm -hmm. and so I just I feel original so I like it. It is really fun. Now of yesterday's um, things we did the uh, soap um, shapes which I thought were really cool because we actually made your thumb. Yes, we did. And it came out really, really well. And if you didn't actually see it, it actually had uh, Jane's thumbprint actually embedded in the soap, which I thought was yes, really so. cool. So I actually went round afterwards and I put Jane's thumb on everything in the building. So if anything's missing, <laughs> they're going to come looking. So what was your favourite um, soap that you've made? Um, my favourite soap I've made, probably um, a little owl figurine thing. Uh, there's picture of it in the book. Yeah, and that so. was really cool. And you used that, yeah. the mould for that was actually just a toy that you already had, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And we also tried it with the Lego guy yesterday. That did not work out. It didn't work out well, but it, it worked out a bit. I mean, uh, some people were saying online that if we put the arms up first, that might actually help oh, them get out of, okay. the, of the shape, but, I, but it, it was fun nonetheless. Yeah. Okay. Now, your dad's a, a really cool guy, and we had some great fun with him yesterday, but what's, I found out something about your dad that you didn't know yesterday. And I found out that 30 years ago, he used to live very near me in London. It's a very small world. He used to live in Hampstead, which is where I grew up. And then he moved to an area of London called the Elephant and Castle, where uh, actually I was living at the same time that he was living there. How did I not know that? I don't know, you see. see it's always like, fun to find out different things. So tell us one thing about your dad that nobody watching is going to know. OK, he cuts his own hair. No, I think we know that. OK. <laughs> yeah, we can tell. <laughs> Now that is actually a cool thing. Now why do you think he cuts his own hair? Because he doesn't like barber shops. <laughs> That's a good enough reason. And it looks really cool. Yeah. It does look really cool. Well Jane, this has been fun. Now um, hopefully later on you're going to show us some more magic tricks. And I know you're going to be helping your dad out throughout the day on uh, all the different projects that we're going to be doing. So welcome. This is Kids Crafts with Mark and Jane Frauenfelder. Now what does that mean in English? Um, that's another thing that I know you maybe don't. Woman in the field. It or does. Something. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, it's a slightly strange German word, but that is exactly what it means. Now, Mark and Jane are the authors of Make a Dad, which give all the projects that we're going to be sharing over the next couple of days, or, or rather uh, session two today, um, how to attempt to make those and how to have some really wonderful fun in making with your kids. Now, Mark um, is also the editing editor in chief of Make Magazine. He's the founder of BoingBoing.net, and he's the editor in chief of CoolTools.org. We just found out he cuts his own hair. But we We'd like to welcome back to Creative Laugh, Mark Fraunfelder. Thanks, JKO. Welcome back, Mark. Thank you so much. Now, I'd never guess you cut your own Oh, hair. I think a never. lot of people would guess, actually. <laughs> that was a really interesting <laughs> thing to learn. But we did actually live together, close together. That's so London. cool. Very strange. Yeah, it's such it's, a small world. Yeah, it's Hampshire's amazing. a pretty small place. Yeah, and Elephant and Castle is not that big either. It's tiny. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's, it's a small world. Well, you've got a lot to get through today, so I'm going to let you take it away. Okay, sounds Thank good. You. Thanks.